Hey, it's Hippie Dave in the South. It was getting time for another update. Had so much going on, I wouldn't know where to begin. But uh, anyway, some updates on the machines that I'm working on. And uh, shop and addition to my garage and some steel I liberated. We'll get right to it. Anyhow, this is where I'm adding onto my garage right here. Just a quick add-on. This is the abomination still waiting to be worked on. I gotta try and get the roof on. It's been raining. I had a short break, so I thought I'd come out here. And you can see what I was up to. Got my 350 Chevy up under there. Got my four-wheeler covered up. There's a future project right there. 14.5 brings a Stratton overhead valve. Stanley mower. It's got a 17 and a half Tecumseh. It runs well. All I'm going to do with this one is a basic upgrade. I got a MST 205 that I've been working on. I am going to put knobbies like what's on the abomination on it I've done measured it out those are uh, 22 by 11 by 8s and the 20 by 7 by 8s I'll put on the front well I will have to do some modification here them side panels will come off and uh, I'll have to uh, modify the steering stops I'm probably going to gear this this one here similar to the abomination four and a half uh, inch pulley uh, on the front on the engine and a six on the back all right go check out the steel i got now yeah, here's a little bit of steel that i got this is a one of them uh cheap couches but uh this is good lightweight steel it is actual steel it's easy to weld but this right here this flat i can see that as a bumper on my cub probably all right i got this little uh, rectangular stuff here is what i am probably going to use on the framework of the doors on the abomination that stuff there i'll think of something it always comes in handy for something it's not very strong but sometimes you don't need strength now for those of you who have forgotten the main problem i was having with the abomination that was these steering couplers that you were either centered metal or uh, cast steel, one or the other. Or not even steel at all, who knows. But anyhow, what I have here is some three quarter inch thick wall steam pipe, schedule 40. And I'm cutting off of this, and I believe when I grind all that crap off, I gotta pull the transmission off. It'd be about a day job. I'm gonna replace with this. And I believe that'll take care of that and that'll be the end of that. Everything else, I mean this thing runs good. Everything else, I've already got my panels cut. I got the panel like this for the other side. Already cut and painted, just have to install it. Down here, I have panels cut. And I'm also putting a aluminum sheeting under there and that will also make up the fender wells that'll be about the last thing that I do to finish this up the front end I am going to redo this didn't work out too well I thought it would I don't know what I was thinking got in a hurry one of my inspectors uh, these shocks they hit while it works well these shocks are perfect for the weight of this thing but I've got to move these up here make an eye right here move the shock these control arms gonna have to be redone the bottom ones I'm going with solid steel and bushings down here uh, I should say round solids steel on that some rod 
and then a modification of these up top and I'm going to end up raising this up is what's going to happen I'm still going to have good ground clearance it's it's going to sit level instead of with the front end down compensate for these tires being of a lower profile than the back ones and that pretty much wraps everything up just work in progress like I say I got a break in the weather it ain't gonna last long and of course I've also been working on my van I got it running again I had actually uh, put it up for eight months in storage so to speak but I got it running good good enough drive go get it uh, inspected just need some TLC and some cleaning up uh, this engine needs to be re-ringed that's why I have this other 350 over here and uh, this one here is a 383 stroker kit but it's a 392 cubic inch about 400 horse so I'll be working on it too uh, limited of course during the winter but in the spring I'm going to swap out to that 350 now you hear the old bitch run like I said, it needs some work. It's been sitting up for a while. Doesn't want to idle. thing to work on ain't no biggie this thing is more of a keepsake it's 75 g20 band same year i graduated custom gauges it's got 500 uh, 556,000 miles 839 and she still goes anyway So I really just like days like today. Got a mountain of crap to do and can't really do anything. Motivated to do it, got parts lined out and everything else, but that's the way it goes. So until the next time, hippie Dave in this house.